Good morning, good morning. It's Kim Migulis coming to you live from Regina. I am here second day in a row where we are playing with Seasons of Elegance, a beautiful bundle. Uh, I'm just gonna log in here to see if I can see your comments. So if you are just logging in, please tell me where you are from, say hello, I would love to know. It's morning here, it's 11 o'clock central time. I do have two studios, so my second studio is in Ontario, so I know for my friends back home that uh, it is presently 1 p.m., so it's good morning, but really good afternoon for them. And then I know sometimes people from other countries will join in, so good evening if it's evening for you. Um, you'll see in my background, I added a little bit of decor. Hi, Joan from Washington State. So it is very gray here this morning. Uh, I was looking out and it's snowing actually. So we were getting a little bit of snow. I told my husband, Chris, hey, I'm taking out the Christmas tree to add to my studio. So while we're here, I have the Christmas tree in the background and we do live on base. So I just saw security go by and they're going by super slow. So they're probably thinking, what are they doing with a Christmas tree in October? But anyways, it's kind of interesting and I just find it's making it festive as I work through my Christmas cards here. So um, I got lots of stuff to show you. If you missed yesterday's live, I did post it on my blog. You can see it at kimmigulis.com. I posted all the cards for you so you get to see them. It was a super, super easy card to do, but when you assemble it all together, it looks stunning. I'm so happy, Linda, that you get to watch me live. So if you don't know me, I normally, um, if you're new to here, I've been a full-time nurse for 25 years and two weeks ago, I decided to leave my, my job just because of the season that my husband and I are in so I would have more flexibility. So that's why you're seeing me more often, you're seeing me throughout the day. And I'm gonna tell you, if you are retired, I some, I'm starting to understand where does the time go? I haven't even been able to keep up with the days. They are flying by, but I'm, I've been loving that I'm part of my studio and I'm here all the time. So Joan is saying that she keeps a tree or two up all year for each season. I love that. I would love to see your picture. So probably right now you're in the fall Christmas tree type of season. I'm not too sure. Um, and then Linda's saying that she loves my Christmas tree. Super basic. I just kept like the uh, the greens and the whites. I, I love neutrals. You'll, you'll get to know me if you come and see me live more often. You'll see that I love neutrals. I also have my wreath here. I don't know if you get to see. Probably not now. Probably a bit later. And my, I was FaceTiming with my daughter Megan this morning. And I was like, she's like, do you have two Christmas trees in the house? I'm like, no, no, it's, it's my wreath right there. So... Yeah, Joan is saying she has a Halloween tree. That's awesome. So <clears throat> Linda's saying that she's retired too. That's awesome. So where does the day go by? Yesterday I was like, I, I have a rule. I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. I also bring my dog to the dog park and we haven't gone this morning because of the crazy weather that has been going on. So she's like pouting a little bit. She's waiting for me. So we're going to do that later. And then it's craft all day. So that's my new thing. I don't know. If I am gonna go back to nursing right now, I don't have a license to practice here, but I'm enjoying this uh, this season where I'm just home and just crafting all day. So it's been very fun. And my daughter is supposed to log in uh, to come and check us live. I don't know if she will, but I just wanna shout out to her because she's been mailing me piles of boxes through Canada Post uh, so I could just work a lot more in this studio. Having two studios is kind of crazy, right? So I do have the basics and stuff in both areas and I am going to do live classes in both areas, but there's some things that I had worked on before and and, uh, and then she's mailing them to me and I'm getting them today. So I'm very excited so you get to see a lot of posts. Oh, Tammy, Tammy's part of my team. She's watching live, that's awesome. So anyways, let's get cracking. I'm like just chatting away here. Just wanted to shout out to all the retirees how amazing it is and um, yeah, so I am playing with the Seasons of Elegance. We did card number one. By the end of this week, we'll have 
piles of different projects in five different colors. I was sharing yesterday that I am recovering from this nasty cold, so you'll hear me coughing a little bit, but you know what? I've loved your suggestions. Everybody's been providing me like these home remedies and I love that, like it, it's been great. I haven't tried everything. Somebody was suggesting hot red wine. I haven't tried that yet. But anyways, I've taken cough syrup and I'm hoping that I can function. I think right now it's when I talk too much that I'm still coughing and um, in the nighttime. Nighttime is horrible. I just cough all night, so I don't, I don't, I haven't been sleeping a lot. But anyways, I'm resting. I'm in my joggings today and it should be a better day. Thank you, Linda, for wishing me. So we are playing with this. I'm gonna show you yesterday's projects. If ever you missed out, like I said, you could always watch our live. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be looking at designing today as well. And there's gonna be two versions of my card today. So it's kind of fun. If you know me, Tammy knows me, I love neutrals. So my basic projects are still neutral, so I'm still gonna show you that, so you'll get to see. And, um, and then I have a coffee class that's gonna be shipped out, ready to go, so you might see that in my emails. I was just waiting for Megan to send it my way so I could just share with all of you. So you might get to see that as well. So lots of fun stuff coming in the near future. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. I've already presented all the products yesterday, so I'm not gonna go back and present what the Seasons of Elegance consist of. <coughs> You'll get that I do have this the stamp sets though and dies in both English and French just because I have customers in both languages and it's been really amazing to use. So I am gonna tip you over, and I shared yesterday that I don't have the same mount as I do back home. So uh, it's a bit, you'll, you'll probably see that there's gonna be a bit of a lag here. Let's see. <coughs> see, I'm already coughing. Oh, okay, we get to see a little bit. So these were my projects. You know me, you know that I love neutrals. And yesterday we featured this one. So this today, you see it in French. You'll see it again in English as well. But we did this in five of the different colors. So that was fun. There is a little bit of a glare because I opened my light this morning just because it's so gray outside. Today, we are gonna be making this little guy. And you'll get to see it again in the five colors. And when I'm saying five colors, what I'm basing it off of is the five colors that are part of the Season of Elegance DSP. So when I create and I design projects, I always try to look at what the paper colors are and then that's where I get my inspiration. So this is a French one. Tomorrow we're probably gonna be playing with the fun fold so you'll get to see that. And for my Canadian customers, if ever you place a $60 order before Sunday, you will get these cards in one of the colors for free in your mail. So it's cards by mail. You will have to buy the bundle though. So these have all been presented yesterday. We're gonna keep playing as we go. Thank you so much, Joan, for sharing, saying that how beautiful they are. You know what? It doesn't do justice. When you're like, in person and online, I think sometimes it doesn't do justice, especially when it's light like this. <coughs> okay, oh my goodness, look at this. <coughs> okay, so you get to see what yesterday's projects were all about. I'm gonna just slide this a little bit higher. So yesterday, you see by the end of the week, we'll have a bunch of different cards. So yesterday we made these in all the different colors. I don't know which one is your favorite. I can't even pick. And you'll see that these cards are super, super simple. So if you wanna make 50 of them, you could do so. So everything is on my blog about these because we've already done them. But I just found that they look so great when you look at them here. Even the non-traditional cherry cobbler, when you look at it here, I was very surprised how beautiful it looked like. <coughs> now today, here we are with um, basic gray, uh, basic beige. 
<clears throat> Pretty Peacock. Old Olive. We're going to do the Mossy Meadow. And we have it also in Real Red. Oh, no, sorry. It's not Real Red. This one is uh, Cherry Cobbler. <coughs> so here I am. And I have to take a cough drop because it's starting again, which I wasn't doing. We are also going to be doing reverse. So you'll see that my colors are going to switch where we're going to be using the white instead of the olive. So I can't wait to share that. And I did go a little darker here, which shouldn't have been the case. But anyways, it is what it is. What you might have noticed is, did you see how beautiful the ribbon pops out? I used my blend and I was able to decorate it with the matching cardstock color in every single color. And I truly, truly love it. So this is the ribbon. It's called Iridescent. And it is stunning. So we are going to use it today. I think it was on back order. I'm not sure if it's back in stock. I'd have to check. I could post it on my blog. But it is there. So I'm going to push these cards aside. So you see how by the end of this week, we'll have a bunch of different projects with every single color. And then when I did my basic beige class uh, back home, everybody got a, a cute box to package all their cards together. So it's going to be fun. By Friday, we should have lots of projects. And i um, just going to push this aside a little more. So I can have some work space here. So it should be a great week. And then, you know me, sometimes I go over the top. So these are simple cards. By the end of the week, it might be not as simple if ever I decide to continue designing with the Season of Elegance. I find that it's, it's, it's a great collection to play with. Okay. <coughs> My goodness. So we're going to be needing... When I send my cards by mail, they come in this cute little package. Everything is pre-cut, pre-scored for you. The only thing I can't do is stamp. Mary, Mary, Mary Ellen is saying hello from Montana. Hello, Mary Ellen. So you'll need, here we do inches. So it's a piece of cardstock that is four and a half by 11 inches, where we're going to score at five and a half. And I just want to make sure that it's all good to go. I'm going to take this little strip off and I'm going to save it for later, actually. When I score, I love to use my bone folder. I just love the crisp fold. I want to try something though. Give me a second. I just want to close my light to see if it's going to be better because I don't like the glare. Yeah, I think it's a little better. So I'm just going to go here. And we're going to fold right here in half. And then my second piece of cardstock is going to be white. And this one, we're going to use our new embossing folder. Love it. And one of my tips is I normally try to always base it off of that Stampin' Up! line to make sure <coughs> I have it straight. But for today, I'm going to move it just slightly because I want all three trees right in there. Oh my gosh, I think it's even worse than yesterday. It's coughing. There we go. And there's a magic. If you want a crisper image, but I find this dye is perfect, but if the dye was more delicate, you would want to wet your paper first by spritzing some water. I find that the embossing sometimes turns out even better. So, so this would go right here. Then I'm going to pull out my mossy metal. 
and the one that I have back home is newer, but we're going to use this one for today. <coughs> Imagine the pop syrup has not even worked. Okay, so what I try to do is I go off on the side first. So there's not too much of it. And then I'm just adding my ink with my blending brush. There we go. And I know it might look a bit harsh like on the image, but it's actually very, very cute. And then I'm gonna grab my Mossy Meadow, the light one. And I'm gonna just tap. And this is a great way to add little specks. As much as you want. So I don't know if you get to see these. They're very light, very delicate. And we're gonna mount this on dimensionals. And you could do this card like in the in the, um, French or English, depending on which stamp sets you have. I'm gonna add some dimensionals. So this is a very simple card, like yesterday's, which normally I do not do simple. So this has been fun. And then we're just going to mount it right here. There we go. I'm going to use three greetings from my stamp set. I'm going to use the Christmas. Love from our home to yours. It's kind of nice that they did love from my home to yours as well. And the word happy. <clears throat> so I'm going to take out whatever I have in my little envelope here. Let's see. So I need one little itsy bitsy. And this is to stamp the word happy. I'm going to use my Mossy Meadow ink. Thank you, Linda. And I'm just going to, I'm stamping. I don't want to stamp upside down right now. So I'm just doing it on my side, but I'll show you after. Here we go. We have the happy here. These are my snips. They have a little piece of ribbon. And the reason I have ribbon is because it's okay to cut cardstock. It's not my ribbon scissors. And then this is gonna be my word, happy, right here. I actually wanna snip another little piece. There we go. So the word happy is gonna be right here. Then I'm gonna take, and you know what? Making this card, what's amazing as well, I'm gonna share with you is that you could use a bunch of different scraps. So if you have lots of scrap pieces, it's pretty fun to do. We're going to do love from our home to yours. I'm going to take a snippet right here. There you have it. So that part is done as well. And then we're going to stamp our word Christmas. And what's awesome about that one is that there's a die. So if you have it in French, I do have it in French here. It would be Noel, and it is already die cut as well. I 
my daughter just sent me a message. She's like, mom, I can't see you live, but I think you guys are here. So she's probably on my wrong page. So here we go, Christmas. And then the dies. Someone needs to send her a message. Megan, you're on the wrong page. So this is the die that fits perfectly right on there. So you see, you can stamp 50 Christmases and then just go to town and die cut them all. Sometimes I'll buy multiple dies when I know I'm gonna use them a lot for my classes. I'm gonna die cut this for you. Oh, she's there. So Megan, you missed out. I did a shout out to you because I told everyone how you had mailed me a bunch of boxes. Because before I left, I had so many classes that it was pretty chaotic. So Megan put everything in order. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna, there's a recruiting promotion going on right now. Probably gonna recruit Megan because when we do do classes together, it's awesome. Since she's like a little girl, she's always been my helper in my studio with all my ladies. So since the starter kit is on sale, get 206 of product for 135, no shipping, and depending the taxes in different provinces, I think this might be a great opportunity for her to join. And here we have it right here. So you see how simple? It's using all the basic colors. Now for the ribbon. I'm going to be taking out my ribbon again. And I've already started coloring it, not to bore all of you here. But you want to take a piece of this little guy. And then we're going to do mossy metal light. And then I'm just going to add some color. So this is the ribbon to grab. And why I love to use the blend, you could also use your markers, is because the blends have alcohol, so they dry a lot faster. And then I'm just going to tie this. And I'm not doing a double bow, so I know people always comment about my double bow. I'm going with a simple bow today. And the trick I was sharing with my customers is you want to put it as tight as you can. Like this. So we see we're missing a little bit. I got people walking by thinking, what is she doing with a Christmas tree? But I'll just wave hello. They don't know I'm working on Christmas cards. Now I'm going to take out my other scissors, the ones that I said I use for, see the difference? I use only for ribbon cutting. So you need two pairs of scissors in your studio. And then we're just gonna assemble this part. So I am gonna use the gold textured backed dots because they go at, with the Season of Elegance collection. I love to add a small one and a small and a large. I always go in odd numbers. <coughs> okay. And you see, this did not take me a very long time. It was very quick to do. I'm even stamping upside down, which is awesome. But it turned out great. And I don't know if you do, but do you embellish your envelopes? I think we all should embellish our envelopes. Our DSP is fabulous. It coordinates. And that's the reason I joined initially because I love that everything coordinates. So I just mounted it on dimensionals. I'm going dimensionals all the way. So if you do this in steps, you could build a very large collections of Christmas cards very quickly by just doing this little simple layout. And I'm going, I'm popping up everything. You don't have to. Fran is saying that she loves her envelopes stamped. 
I do too. And then we're gonna add this. Oops, I went a little too high. I'm not someone that stamps well under pressure. I don't know, it's kind of my, it's like I have to take my time. I was sharing also yesterday that if ever the, the, these gold ones don't work well, you could also use the iridescent face gems. And I did put them in the code yesterday on my blog post. So when I did the red card, that's the one I use. Same for the blue and same for the basic beige. So Joan is saying if she does a special card, she will do the envelopes. So because we're starting a new year, I have special cards going to my team. You know, a lot of them promoted this year. Like they, they worked really, really hard. And I am doing personalized cards and adding actually their names and stuff. So for sure, they're going to have fancy envelopes. And I will share with you, all of you here, it's not a card that I will be doing and duplicating because they're a bit fancier than usual, but I can't wait. Okay, so I'm going to take out my envelope. And for today, I love the multi, multi glue. I'm just going to go here and add some glue. And then I'm going to stick my envelope right here. And then I'm using my scissors that I'm allowed to cut the SP. And then I'm just gonna go cut around right here. Now, I'm gonna show you the difference between yesterday and today. So this is Mossy Meadow. My stamp, my envelope this time is more of a matte finish because the DSP has two sides to it. Yesterday's card was the one with the gold on it. So you see how as the week goes on, we're gonna be building more and more cards. We'll package them up in every single color. So I just wanted to show the hostess or the person receiving this, that there's two sides to this beautiful DSP. One is a little flashier than the other. And then we have them in all colors. Now, this morning, here I was FaceTiming with Megan and I started designing. This was not in the plan of doing so, but I was like, you know what? I think this card would be lovely, but the reverse. So I'm gonna pull, pull this little guy again. Let's go this way. And now, where's my pre-cut pieces? We're gonna flip it in the reverse. So we're gonna be using white cardstock instead of the green as a background. So once again, folding that piece in half, adding it there. there. Then I'm gonna use my green, olive green, old olive. And then we're just gonna do, again, the embossing folder. Now you see how fast this is going? Like I could just do so many if everything's pre-cut. So once again, I'm gonna take out our beautiful embossing folder. I'm not going to go to my line. I'm going to push it over just slightly because I want to show three of those beautiful trees. <coughs> so I'm doing simple cards and normally I'm not a simple person. I don't do simple, but I'm starting to love this new trends. Look how beautiful that is. So now we're building on the reverse. And of course, when I started thinking about this, I'm like, I'll have to do this card in every single color again on the reverse. So I guess this wasn't in the plan, but it is. 
I'm using my stamping pad in white and it's brand new. I haven't even inked it up completely. Just a little bit of a dab, use a dauber. And then I've just added, cause this stamp pad comes with no ink when you, you get it, but you have like the, the refill here. And then I'm just gonna dab some white. I'm not using the blending brush cause I wanna have a little bit more control. And then just tap, 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 tap everywhere. Now, when I did my first card right here, I added some specks with the old olive blend. This time, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I don't know if you get to see here some slight snow. You can have lots of snow on there. You could have just a little bit of snow. It's up to you. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take out one of my blocks. Love our blocks. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of water right here. We are also gonna take that Beautiful white refill. Fran's asking if I'm feeling better today. I'm gonna say, Fran, I think I was coughing worse today than I was yesterday when I started the video. Now it's starting to get a little bit better. It's just talking too much. Like I have my energy back at least, that's great. So now you're gonna blend the white ink, it's crafting, and the water. And now this time I'm gonna tap, 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 but with my brush. And I'm just adding snow. Like I said, it's snowing here today. It's not staying. Do you see, I don't know if you could see it, maybe when I do my post tomorrow and you see it on my blog, but there's piles of little white specks of snow. Now, because I need to let this dry up, I'm gonna put this aside gonna cheat here and I have one already done here so there it is and then we're gonna be doing the same exact same thing except we're gonna do an old olive we're gonna decorate an old olive again and I'm just gonna pull out my ink here we go so oh Megan thank you super cute she loves it. So I wanna ask you, it's not done completely yet, but do you prefer the white background and then a green on top, or do you prefer this version? Or do you wanna wait till you see the end result? I'm also not done, so if you say, I can't comment until I see the final result, then that's fine as well. Gonna die cut the Christmas. If ever you watch the replay, just please say replay so I know that you've tuned in. Here we go. Look at this. So now we're building again. And I'm gonna go back with the same greeting. So Joan is saying she likes the look of the white background. When you mount these long stamp sets, just let it drop so it's not curvy or anything. You want to make it fall properly. Oh, Kathleen is caught catching me on her lunch break. So what time zone is it for you, Kathleen? Is it central? Actually, I have a tiny piece. I wonder if it would fit in there or not. Oof, I'd have to be a very 
So you see how we can use all our little spare pieces. There we have it. And then I need a little piece of green here. Do I have an extra piece of green? Let's see. I know I do, but... Just gonna die cut a little tiny piece of green. You can see my husband sending me messages asking me if I want to go for lunch for him. He's like a little sweetheart there. I told him I go live at 11 central time. I'm gonna do another one. Do we have it? So we're almost done this second card. And then this would be popped up right here. Now, let me put this aside. I'm gonna put the white aside as well. And then we're gonna take out our ribbon. Now, I love it in green. I'm using the dark. blend for this one but it is stunning so if you don't have the iridescent ribbon you need to add it on your wish list once you order because it is so so good I just ordered a bunch so I could prep for a class to go so everybody could get this cute ribbon I don't know if you get to see it here but it is stunning. So I'm gonna see if I have enough here. Like I said, this ribbon needs that extra pull. So you wanna start, like you're tying your shoelace, but you wanna pull so the knot is super tight. There we go. I wanna make it even tighter. And I pull to the length that I want actually not that bad. I'm going to add a little bit more. It's like I missed a strip right in here and maybe a little bit more on this side. I normally pre-cut the ribbon and then we'll add the color because I don't want to... There we go. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside there. Oh, I just love it. So cute. Okay, so now we're going to mount this and then we'll be done with our second card. A little bit of dimensionals. You could go light on the dimensionals. You could go overboard on them. I guess the more you add, the sturdier your card will be. I'm going to mount this right here. And then we're gonna do our happy. So I think today I'm gonna to do hot water with lemon juice, squash, uh, squish from a fresh lemon. And then we're gonna do ginger and honey and see if I could get rid of that cough for tomorrow's live. <clears throat> and then here we go been having soup at lunchtime. <coughs> Lots of liquid. Okay, I'm just putting like a mini glue dot and then this goes right here. Okay, so let me just snip the sides again. Now there you have it. Let me steal the envelope from my other card right here. So Fran is saying homemade turkey noodle soup. We did have turkey because in Canada we had uh, Thanksgiving, was it last weekend? So uh, I had some turkey, maybe I should do a second one. So there you have it. You get to see the card in two versions, the green or this one.
So two options. And then let me bring back these little guys. If you ever you're just logging in late, you'll get to see them all in the different colors, which I based off of our season's DSP. I'm still not sure which one's my favorite. I think they all have something cute to offer. And then this was yesterday's live. So I'm maximizing using all my paper. And we are building as we, here we go, I'll just pull it. Is this better? Let's see. can't see the red one because I guess it's a little too far but you get to see the others for sure at least a, a glimpse of it well thank you so much for joining me if it was lunch hour evening etc I'm very happy that you were all here tomorrow we'll be work working on something else um hi Yvonne I know you're just joining in you'll be able to catch the replay uh, it was fun to create. Hopefully, all your suggestions about this nasty cough will resolve itself. And um, yeah, so hope you can join me tomorrow again, 11 Central Time. If ever it's Eastern Time, it will be 1. Have a great day. Bye-bye.